Okay, so we're on take number 10 or 11. I thought this would be a one take item, but I guess it's not. So this is the initial configuration and startup of the Raspberry Pi 3 with the newest in installation of the Raspbian image uh, dated March 18th, uh, 2016, I believe. Always important to know your versions. So first we're gonna take the SD card, take the micro SD out, and we're gonna install it into the back of the Raspberry Pi. Next, we're going to hook up the HDMI cable to the monitor, like so. And it's always good to have the monitor turned on first. This way the Pi will know what resolution to start up with in the beginning. So now I'm going to connect the power and let the Pi start up. So then I'm going to walk you through the initial setup on the first first startup. So there we've got the 720p. And being the newer image, it will start right up into the uh, GUI for setup. Okay, now that we have that connected, we can actually see here my Wi-Fi is already connected because I've already booted this once and set up the Wi-Fi, but I'll walk you through that. So now we're going to need to connect a USB keyboard and mouse to the Pi so we can set it up. So there's my mouse and keyboard plugged in. So now the first thing we're going to do, one is I've already set up my password on my Wi-Fi. When you come up here, you'll see two computers on the initial startup. I've already configured my Wi-Fi, and just to note now, my Wi-Fi configuration is 192.168.1.129, so we'll need to write that down for later, uh, that's important. So now we need to do some basic configuration, so menu, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration. So we're going to expand the file system to take full use of our SD card. Okay, so that'll happen after we reboot. And here, if we wanted to do any localization, we could set our locale, time zone, keyboard, and set your Wi-Fi country. And for me, I'm not going to need the front end anymore after this point. I'll do everything um, through SSH and through Win uh, SCP, which I'll show in further videos. So for here, for system, I'm going to set the startup for CLI, command line interface. And I'm going to hit OK. Reboot now. Yes. So now we should see it boot to the command line. And here we are. Then if we ever want to get back to the GUI, it's just a simple start X. And that will get us back there. And there we are. So the next video, we're going to go on to setting up um, or updating actually the Node Red because as we see, it came initially installed with Node Red, but we're going to go to the website and update to the most current uh, version of Node Red. So stay tuned and watch the next video and check out my blog.